Hey everyone, Mike from MyTechie here. I'm here to give you a tip about IP spoofing. Basically, right now I'm currently in Italy, and as you can see, my address is broadcasted as if I was in Italy, because you see that my start page went to google.it, which is the Italy form for Google. Okay, So my IP is broadcasting out saying that I'm in Italy, and Google knows, hey, I'm going to show this page in Italian. So this is just one quick way you can also go in and say, you know, ipaddress.com and find that you're in Italy and everything else. And we'll, I'll show you that in a second. But as of right now, I want to go and show you a new tool I came across. I can't go to my regular websites I like to go to, like such as Pandora and Hulu, just to, uh, you know, listen to my music while I'm uh, doing some work or whatever it be. If I want to go watch and catch up on some TV shows while I'm on vacation, that should be my choice. However, Pandora and Hulu, both these websites are, are pretty big websites that have blocked uh, outside users from doing this uh, broadcasting. Now, keep in mind, Hulu and both Pandora transfer UDP packets over the HTTPS protocol as well as the HTTP protocol that runs through the WGET. Now, if you did not understand any of that, don't worry about it. Just understand that basically if you use this program, it will work, however, if you try to use a different program, it might not work due to how the actual browser is calling it and how the actual uh, proxy server is broadcasting that proxy. Now, this what does what they call full shade or full spoof of your IP and connects you directly to a proxy server and basically connects that direct connection to the proxy server, then the proxy server relays that message out. And so, at the, in that case, whatever country the proxy server is in is going to be the country that you're in. So, that being said, let's go ahead and actually launch this program. It's known as NetShade. Now, this is for Mac. If you use a if you use a PC, just go ahead and uh, check out a program called Identity Cloaker. It's a little more expensive than this application. However, it's probably the best one I've found on the uh, the PC. I've come across a couple, and unfortunately, they didn't work on Hulu and some worked on Pandora, some were really slow. Um, definitely is the better idea to get a purchase one. Um, this one here costs you $29. You can only pay via PayPal. However, PayPal has a way to pay via credit card. So you can pay via credit card or pay via PayPal. Now, keep in mind that, again, this costs you $30 for the year. You get the, the program for basically $10. Every year, if you want to go ahead and renew, you have to renew, and it's going to cost you to only $20. Now, again, this, this application is very nice. It's very easy to use. very easy to set up. Now, the only thing I'm going to let you know, that if you go to your system preferences, which is what the Safari browser goes ahead and works off of, under, I believe, it's the network, and you highlight your airport card or whatever you're using, and click on advanced you're gonna notice that we have proxies here and you're gonna notice that I have both these proxies set up and it's that shade 3 is always gonna be the uh, the user ID and then your password is gonna be whatever your uh, registration code is, they give you is so as you can see here I had to go in here but I had to set these passwords and usernames manually so it took me a little bit to figure that out uh, they don't tell you unfortunately in the documentation so just a heads up here ahead of time Make sure you go ahead and set that, and then they go ahead and tell you on how to set set up Firefox to read those settings instead of going ahead and setting it manually in Firefox too. In case something changes, NetShade will automatically update those those settings, and then Firefox will call them. Now, depending on if your website you're using uses a token or uses a cookie or whatever it be, will depend on how often you know you might have to re-log into your website or whatever it be. I've used this one. Uh, for Pandora and I've gone 30 minutes easily with streaming and no interruptions. So that being said, let's go ahead and see how this works. As you see my proxy now, I'm using the NetShape proxy. Keep in mind also, if you let's say you don't renew later on and you want to use that public proxy, by all means, go ahead and do so. However, I highly do not recommend that you go ahead and put in uh, your personal information for a bank account, so on and so forth, while using a proxy. Um, even with the NetShape private proxy, I mean, it's okay. Um, I wouldn't recommend it either way. I would tell you to go back to your direct connection and just trust that the SSL connection between the two, uh, two systems, between your ISP and that, uh, the server that is broadcasting that web, that web hosting, uh, will, uh, be sufficient enough. 
So, back to what we were talking about here. As you can see, I'm in the United States, and as we talked about before, Google knows because the job scripts and the, and the geographic location of my IP address, it knows that I was in Italy. Now, if I close this window and open a new one, you're going to notice that it's going to go ahead and it's going to display in English. It now thinks I'm in the United States solely. So let's go ahead and back go back to a direct connection. So this lamp or this net shake goes and changes all the settings in the background for me. Don't have to do a thing. And then again, I set Firefox to read those settings. So if I close that and reopen up one of those things, you'll see that it broadcasts back in Italian. Now let's go ahead and run off over to Pandora.com, and you can see what I mean by they restrict you. So as you, as you can see, I go into Pandora.com, and we're deeply sorry the licensing constraints. We no longer allow access to Pandora listeners outside the United States. We believe that your IP is in Italy, and here's your IP address. Well, okay, so that being said, I was in Italy, I'm in Italy, and I can't listen to it. Oh, well, we can go ahead and change that. So let's go back to the Netshape proxy. You can go ahead and change the proxy wherever you want. This one's the United States. You can go ahead and change uh, the proxy later to be, you know, Germany if you don't want to or something like that. If you want to use a, a thing that was sold solely Germany. So let's go ahead and go back here to Pandora. And let's go right to the Pandora website. And what do you know? I'm able to get there. I'm not going to restrict the thing. And I'm able to sign in. And, uh, of course, I have Pandora 1, so you're going to see that. But, as you can see, it works fine. Again, some things might not work, so be, be, do be aware of that. Um, I believe Hulu works fine on here, too. I think I've seen some sluggishness sometimes. But, overall, it's pretty good. Um, let's go and see here. Normally, you would get a restricted here. So, it won't be restricted until I hit on a video. So, let's go ahead and go to a video real fast. And, as you can see, it's loading. And, normally, you would get a message right now saying, hey, it's restricted. But again, because Netshade's a very good application, it's going to go through and go ahead and actually load those UDV packets that are being load, broadcast in the background. And you can see, I'm able to watch the video. Now, let's go ahead and turn this connection back to the direct connection. Alright. We'll refresh this page. Reloading all the regional settings and all that stuff that it's, that it's broadcasting and catching from me. And as you can see, it tells me, hey, sorry, your current library can only be streamed within the United States. And again, it thinks I'm outside the United States. So again, here's a, just a quick utility that's really good. It's called IP spoofing, and it's using a program called Netshade. Now, again, I, I do not recommend that you do any banking while using uh, the, the proxy server. Always go back to a direct connection before using any banking. And uh, from there, um, you can go ahead and trust that SSL and log in. Well, this is Mike from my techie here broadcasting again from Italy and I hope you had a wonderful day and I hope this helped you out. Thanks and have a good day. Bye bye.